So bottom line, if you're just starting out to invest, just ignore cover call ETFs. Do not apply. Hello, everyone. In today's video, I want to cover cover call ETFs and why new investors should avoid them. So don't get fueled by the high yields, you know, with these double digit returns. It's like there's no free lunch. It is not a free money printer. To help you all out, I want to reveal the three things you must absolutely look for if you're even interested, remotely interested in a cover call ETF. I'm going to show you the two tools you can use to decide for yourself so you can make your own financial decisions. I'm also going to reveal the three very specific examples where I think this cover call ETF strategy might be suitable for some people. I want to be very clear. I am not poo-pooing all cover call ETFs. I think there are specific scenarios where the cover call ETF works really, really well, especially for income investors. I'm just trying to break the, the, the noise that's going out in the market and all the different types of articles and blogs and YouTube videos where influencers and YouTubers and experts are pushing these cover call ETFs because guess what? They're getting paid a lot of money. So I just want to watch out for you guys. Hello, everyone. It's Tracy here. I'm an ex-engineer turned full-time investor and entrepreneur. I manage a multi-million dollar investment portfolio and I collect more than six figures of passive income. And I've been doing this for more than 18 years. So if this is interesting to you, passive income in Canada, collecting it using stocks and real estate and living life on your own terms, then you definitely want to hit the subscribe button and that bell notification to get the latest and greatest videos coming to you every single week. So let's get back to the video. I think they are dangerous for new investors. And here's why. If you have decades and decades in your investing journey, you are losing a, a massive growth. Okay. Now, how they work is that you sell a contract in the market. And when you put this contract out, you get paid a certain fee. Okay. It's like as if you putting a house on the market on MLS. And then someone pays you a fee just for putting your house on the market. Hey, I'm willing to sell your house at a million dollars, but in reality, your house is only worth $800,000. And then if someone wants to buy your house for a million dollars, they'll take that contract and then you have to give up your house. But in the meantime, you still collect that thousand dollars. What's wrong with that? If your house is in a great location, in a great city, in a great neighborhood, um, that $800,000 house technically could be worth a few millions in like 10 years from now. You've given up a ton of capital appreciation. And that's what's happening with these cover call ETFs. These cover call ETFs are purposely built so that a portion of them get sold off every single month so that they can collect money. That's why you can potentially collect double digit returns. But in reality, you're giving up a ton of appreciation and that eats away at the principal. Now look at this chart right here. As you can see, guess what? They're all going down over time. So bottom line, if you're just starting out to invest, just ignore cover call ETFs. Do not apply. Now, there are three things you must absolutely look for if you want to do some quick research on cover call ETFs. It doesn't take very long. And I'm going to show you two tools that you can use today. The first one is very simple. Look at historical performance. You could go to Yahoo Finance, find the ticker symbol, go to max, click on that circle, and then you can see, hey, how does it perform over time? And the most important things you want to look at are the times when the economy was not doing well. So you want to look at the financial crisis. You want to look at during the pandemic, which was in 2020, how did these ETFs perform? Now, next one is consistency in these distributions. Are the distributions going down? Or is it staying flat? Or is it consistent? A lot of distributions actually go down. As you can see, QILT is actually going down. Next one is the expense ratio. Did you know these cover call ETFs are managed by a fund manager? Guess what? It costs a lot of money. So this is very common in cover call ETFs. The expense ratio is quite high and it costs you thousands and thousands of dollars over the years. I'm going to share an example of exactly how much it costs with an ETF that's in Canada. So what you want to do is compare an ETF, a regular ETF equivalent to a cover call ETF and look at the expense ratio. One example could be 0.2% and the other one is 0.65%, which is a huge difference and it's costing you a ton of money over the decades, like thousands and thousands of dollars. Like in one example I'm going to share with you, you can cut your expenses by half 
if you had the equivalent ETF. So please check the history of the fund manager. How long has this person been around? Is this a new fund? Maybe it just exists in the last year. Do you even trust the company? Now, as promised, there are two tools that you can use right now to do some quick research on these cover call ETFs. The first one is the Portfolio Visualizer, which is a backtesting tool you can use. You just plop in the two ETFs, compare the returns, and you can compare it since inception. So you can see that if you were to compare the two ETFs that invest in the top six Canadian banks, one is a cover call and one is not cover call, even though the cover call ETF has well, really high yield compared to the boring, well, non cover call ETF equivalent, you can see that there's a huge difference in returns. You're giving up, again, like I said, a lot of capital appreciation. Then the next tool is the Vanguard tool, which is talks about just comparison of ETFs. And what I like about it is you can compare the, the yield, you can compare the expense ratios, and you could forecast how much these management fees are costing you. So if we use ZEB versus ZWB, it's a huge difference. You could see if you invested over a 20-year period, having a cover call ETF is costing you twice as much. Now, here are three specific examples where the cover call strategy might be the perfect strategy for you. And this is actually gathered by the feedback I got on my first video. First one is I am retired as in the spending phase of my life rather than accumulation. So the trouble is you can't spend the capital gains. So sure, you can sell them, but it has tax consequences, which is true. So then you could actually liquidate your portfolio, convert it into a cover call ETF, and then you can stretch out your portfolio longer than just selling your assets. And so then you become less dependent on the growth stocks, which means less volatility. And then you could just let them sit there and grow. It works for this specific person. This person is obviously retired. The next scenario is if you had an RRIF. So it looks like if you had a lot of securities under the RRIF tax umbrella, all capital gains and interest generated within the RRIF is tax free. So they are looking to liquidate their stock portfolio and then create their annual annuity using these cover call ETFs. And then they can split into 12 monthly payments so they get some income every single month. But do you see a theme? It's all people who are retired. And another, here's another scenario, again, with the RRIF, because of their age and withholding tax, they end up eroding the asset base to fulfill their taxable income obligation. I guess it's because with RIF, you have to withdraw it. So this can makes complete sense to actually invest in cover call ETFs. The three common themes are these people are in retirement and they know what they're doing and they're accepting the fact that they're not growing their assets they're just trying to stretch out their existing portfolio. And because they have to withdraw it, they're doing it this way. Hey, if you want to learn more about the cover call ETF and the dangers of them and the nuts and bolts, check out this video up here. Bye.